Don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park. She's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker. Hi there, Trailer Park fans! It's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, Merry Trailer Park Christmas, and you may have heard, if you go to my website, TrailerParkChristmas.com, I've got a calendar that you can print off, and you can find out all about the videos that I'm going to be uploading here on my channel on YouTube every day of December for 25 days, because it's 25 days till Christmas. And I look here, and today we're supposed to be cooking my Trailer Park Potato Soup, and this is a great soup that you can make for, you know, the cold winter uh, nights that are coming up, and I call it Trailer Park Potato Soup because, well, I fixed it for somebody sometime, and they said, Jolene, did you know that your potato soup is nothing but potatoes, milk, onions, and a whole lot of butter? And I'm like, yeah, because that's what I like. And it's also a budget soup. And it's great to freeze in the little containers and put it in the freezer and take it out uh, some other night. But it's my Trailer Park Potato Soup, and I'm going to show you how to make it up on the 25 days of Trailer Park Christmas. I'll be right back. You'll need the following ingredients to make my trailer park potato soup. Some potatoes. Some whole milk. One onion. Some salt and pepper. One stick of butter. Here's how you put it together. Okay, we have our potatoes here and I've cubed them on up and I've peeled off the skins and I've already got a bandage um, for my first episode. Could you believe that? But somebody gave me one of those Euro peelers and wow, that worked really good, but it got my knuckles. Um, but we're going to put the potatoes up in the water and I've sprinkled some salt in there and you could use about six or so potatoes and um, we're just going to put them on in there. Be careful and just dump them on in there just like that and you're gonna let them go for a few minutes and you're gonna test them by just tasting one to the firmness that you'd like so get that on boiling again and let that go for about eight or so minutes and then to start testing it to see if you like it welcome back we peeled the potatoes and we cubed them up and we put them up on the stove top in some water that we sprinkled some salt in there and they've been going for a few minutes now and what we need to do is add some chopped up onions and I chopped up one onion and that's just going to go on in there in the water and we're going to let that cook for a few minutes more and um, then we're going to add some more ingredients to it but some people like to add cauliflower or corn or celery I don't like celery it just mmm when I think of celery, it's nasty, but if you want to do that, go right ahead. But it's just a simple, really, ingredient soup that you can make with just potatoes and onions and things that are already in your cabinets. Um, but these potatoes have been boiling. We need to get the onions in there and get that going here. So let's go ahead and put those on in there, right on into the stove top bowl. and mix that around. Sometimes in a pinch when you don't have a real onion you can use the dehydrated minced onions too and that's really when you're on a budget but that does work too and you just sprinkle that on in there just like that and that gives it a little bit more flavor. So let that just boil on down just a little bit more. Okay, now that our potatoes are cooked, we're going to drain off most of the water, but leaving about two cups of water still in there. So go ahead and drain that off now. 
Okay, now we have about two cups of the water still in there. And now we're going to add one stick of butter. Just dunk it on in there and just kind of mix it around just a little bit and get that melted down. There we go. Now that you got the butter in, you're going to take the whole milk and then you're going to just fill up the rest of your bowl with the milk, just like that. All the way up to the top. There we go. Let's just give it a little bit more. And we're going to stir this around and let it simmer for a while for about five to ten minutes on medium high heat and then it'll be ready to eat so we're gonna check back in just a few minutes to check on our soup and you can add some pepper or any kind of other spices to it we're just gonna add a little pepper to the top of it just like that and stir that around and get that going and we'll check back in just a minute I have some of my Trula Park potato soup here and it's just been boiling up on the stove top and it looks so great and if you can put it in these containers you can freeze it and then use it anytime that you want for a quick dinner on a cold winter night you can just microwave it and just pop it out whenever you want and it's a nice budget soup that you probably have the ingredients in your cabinets already butter and milk and onions and if you want, you can put bacon bits up on top or maybe some onions or um, anything that you like. Celery, if that's really what you want to put in there. But it's a budget soup. It's great as is, and I can't wait to try it. So let's get a little bite of it here. It's nice and hot. Mmm. That's rich and buttery and creamy. And the potatoes are just great and hearty in this soup. And this will really warm you up on the winter months. And I hope you get a chance to make my trailer park potato soup. And if you do, send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I'm Jolene's trailer there. And the recipe will be up on TrailerParkChristmas.com. And don't forget to download the calendar for the 25 days of Trailer Park Christmas because it's 25 more days till Trailer Park Christmas happens and there'll be some more recipes every day for the 25 days of Trailer Park Christmas so you'll need the calendar up on your fridge so you'll know what's going on. I love y'all. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll be back with some more Trailer Park Christmas uh, recipes so you can make your uh, double wide ready for the holidays. I'll see you back real soon. Bye bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with pride Bye, in the so. double wide. Is it my store at jolinesugarbaker.com?